Hi, I'm Carlos Montero Luque. I am responsible for engineering here at Aperion. In pre previous blogs, we've talked about uh, mobile application management and how it's the future of mobile management, how uh, techniques like uh, MDM really are not applicable into the modern needs of, uh, of uh, uh, enterprise mobility management. But uh, what is mobile application management? How, what are the different techniques? Is it just uh, an enterprise app catalog, an enterprise app store, that kind of thing? It is a key element of mobile application management, but it's not the whole story. We're talking about the management of the lifetime uh, of all the content that is relevant, that is specific to the enterprise, whether it's application or other content, etc. So if we think about this uh, through that lifetime, lifetime uh, the first thing is the acquisition, the integration of that uh, content inside the enterprise. So uh, content gets created, it's either in a public um, uh, marketplace or it belongs, uh, it's been created uh, for the company, by the company, on behalf of the company, etc. So the first thing you have to do is to have a mechanism that allows that content to be brought in. So it's having some automation APIs to bring in the content uh, into the enterprise, that's extremely important. That's the first element uh, when you think about bringing in uh, uh, and, and uh, the content and making it uh, managed. So the first element of mobile management in the enterprise. So once you have that content in there, what's the first thing you need to do? Well, you need to look at it, make sure that it is what it says it is, that it behaves the way it says it behaves. So you gotta check for malware, you have to check for behaviors, you gotta make sure, you gotta validate that it's exactly what it's supposed to be. Um, also, if signing is required to make sure that it uses enterprise credentials, a way to automate that, of course, and simplify that process is also very important. Um, you automate all this process and suddenly you have content now that is being brought in. Now, the content is just as it is, so now you have, need to start applying policies, uh, policies that actually make that content really usable inside the enterprise. So things in terms of uh, data encryption, uh, the ability to delete content that you know has outlived its usefulness, or the ability to do uh, uh, policies based on things like geofencing, times, etc. And this is where MDM actually fits. Uh, there are times where the, the, the device actually needs to be managed, either more secure environments or devices that are really provided by the enterprise or, or type of, behavior of, of, of deployments like kiosks, et cetera, in which actually mobile device management plays a, a key role. That's where it fits. It's in the policies to protect the, the, the content inside the enterprise. So now we have content that is protected, that it actually has some policies applied, that has been inspected. What's the next thing we need to do? Now you need to extend it so it actually fits within the enterprise. You want to have single sign-on so that actually the right content is used by the right per, uh, people based on their roles, on who they are, based on their corporate credentials. Uh, you start putting things like dynamic policy, so policies that behave differently depending on circumstances, not just something that is fixed. Uh, things like uh, the ability to actually make sure that uh, uh, that there's visibility to do support on the uh, on the content when it's in the device by uh, uh, some support organization. Uh, the ability to do installations and updates and upgrades without actually having the uh, the the user have to make sure that they click all the right time at the right in the right uh, order, etc. So you automate this, you integrate into the enterprise. Um, you have a mechanism to communicate internally, uh, so privately inside the enterprise. So you have all these things. Now you have protected content that is integrated into the enterprise. But it's the same content for everybody. What's the next step now? Personalize it. Now it's different content depending on who you are. Content that varies a little or a lot based on the role, based on, um, on, on you know, uh, different uh, uh, looks and feels. Uh, the look and feel could be different depending on the organization, depending on the group, etc. So the ability to do some custom branding, uh, the ability to do targeted content, uh, the ability to recommend. Um, so when people cannot discover, users cannot discover necessarily the, the content that they could make use, you can say, hey, somebody that actually does this, you know, uses this type of content and is very useful to them, or somebody that you work with actually uses this type of content and is very useful to them. So the ability to recommend content that is now applicable to you. So now you have actually personalized content that is secure, that is um, embedded into your enterprise that, that you have, and now you start using it. Your users actually are starting to take advantage of it. And the next thing you need to do is to analyze the behavior. Uh, is the adoption what you expect? Uh, is the uh, um, is it performing at the level that uh, your users expect? So can you make sure that uh, uh, any service level agreements are being met? Uh, make sure that the inventory is uh, in place, that uh, people are actually deploying it. Uh, make sure now you start looking at compliance, you start looking at governance. You got to make sure that behavior, uh, how users are taking advantage of that content actually meets the policies that you've set up before. So this is where you're doing the, analy the analysis, the reporting, and if there's any remediation that's required, this is where you do it. 
The last aspect is socialization. It's the ability to take what is really an experience between the user and the content and actually make it more of part of the corporate, uh, of the corporate uh, social infrastructure. So the ability to share and like applications and content, the ability to, ra to rank uh, them, them and, and have that visibility and what those rankings are, the ability to do ideation, crowdsourcing, making it a social experience that actually takes the, the, this content that is available and makes it part of the, of the uh, productivity and, uh, and, and uh, user experience enhancements that you can provide to your enterprise. This is when you take the whole idea of mobile application management and make it part, you make it the core of your mobile management experience. Thank you.